Hey you guys, it's Enter the Stars. And the worst thing that the New World Order could have ever done was to place Indiana Jones into our consciousness. The relentless search for truth. This is the latest addition to the pentagram of death. Now, in our last installment, we had identified the legislative building as being the apex of the pentagram of death. I want to say thank you to Michael Green. He wanted to have me mention his book. He is the one that pointed me to the Manitoba Legislative Building, which completed the pentagram and we're also going to reveal some brand new information, some very historic information that further links all of the world's superpowers into these, this pentagram of death. Michael has a book called Sun Z Dark Attacks. I have not seen the book. I want to check it out. This knowledge is unbelievable. Now, this is what we found today. Again, this pinpoint here is the Manitoba Legislative Building under which there is a secret chamber that no one is allowed into except the Queen of England who visits the chamber annually. Is this some sort of energy draw from all of the lines of death? I, don't, I do not know. I, I cannot confirm that. But I can confirm this. And again, this is brand new information that we have been working on together. This pinpoint here, this location, is a Mount Hermon, Canada. There is also this line here that goes out to a Mount Hermon, Syria. The mountain mentioned in the Book of Enoch where the fallen angels came down and swore an oath to be with the women of earth. This is the seed that was mixed with man that's mentioned in the book of Daniel in the King James Version. If you don't know about that verse, look it up. Daniel, iron and clay seed and it should come right up. Everything that you learn in church about the Bible is a very rudimentary overview of what the real meanings are. And that's what we're doing today. We're unlocking the secrets of the universe and the secrets of truth. Now, before we go to Mount Harmon in Syria and before we read a little bit more about Mount Harmon in Syria, I want to let you know that these angles are exactly 122 degrees apart on the compass. There is no mistake. This line is feeding into Manitoba Legislative Building and kicking right back out at the exact angle that it should if you use this line as a reference, which of course bisects the pentagram of the United States. So, this demonstrates collusion it demonstrates knowledge of these secret things amongst our world powers. It is undeniable. Let's take a look at Syria. And we can follow the line straight across here. Now, Mount Harmon in Syria falls on the 33rd parallel. It also intersects the line of death that we identified here, which is the 320, I'm sorry, this is the um, 188th ley line, the one that goes through Sandy Hook and Teotihuacan and all the way down the eastern seaboard. This line has become famous. We're going to look at Mount Hermon in Syria. And here it is. 
and it borders Syria and Israel. Now, let's take a look at this is what, what's fascinating the 33 degree parallel. This mountain is very important. If you do not know the story about the fallen angels and where they came, we're going to review it now. A cluster of mountains with three distinct summits, each about the same height. Let's look further. Here is the archaeology <clears throat> associated with this site. Gilgamesh passes near Mount Hermon in the Epic of Gilgamesh, where it is, was called Saria by the Sumerians. Sari and Lebanon tremble at the felling of the cedars. In the Book of Enoch, Mount Hermon is the place where Grigori, the Watchers, the class of fallen angels, descended to earth. They swore upon the mountain that they would take wives among the daughters of men and take mutual imprecation for their sin. The mountain or summit is referred to as Saphon in Ugaritic texts, where the palace of Baal is located in a myth about Atar. Now, the Israelites were punished for worshiping Baal in the um, Old Testament. Okay. The Book of Chronicles also mentions Mount Hermon as a place where the heads, where there were heads of family. Elil, elite. Now. There are various temples. This is new information for me. I did not know this. There are various temples of Mount Hermon that can be found in villages on the slopes. There is a sacred building made of hewn blocks of stone on Mount, on the summit of Mount Hermon, known as Khazar Antar. It is the highest temple of the ancient world. Why don't we hear about this? The highest temple in the ancient world? I thought the highest temple was like in... Uh, up in the mountains of Tibet or something like that. This is it on Mount Harmon. Now, this is fascinating. There's an inscription on the limestone stele recovered by Warren from Kasarantar, and it was translated according to the command of the greatest and holy God, those who take an oath proceed from here. This directly authenticates the book of Enoch which said that this is what happened so they've got archaeological evidence that supports the book of Enoch but yet we're slammed for believing that this should be part of the Bible but here in fact we have archaeological evidence that substantiates the book of Enoch now Nicholsburg connected the inscription with oaths taken by the angels under Sinjaza, which is what happened in the book of Enoch, who took an oath together, bound by a curse, in order to take wives. Now you're seeing that this says God, but really they're referring to the bad God. Hermon was said to have known as the Mountain of Oath by Charles whatever. The name of God was supposed to be a Hellenized version of Baal, or Hadad, and Nicholsburg connected it with the place name of Baal Hermon, and the deity given by Enoch as the great holy one. Oh, that doesn't make sense, but the truth lies somewhere in here. Okay, you guys? We're putting the pieces together. The mountain was said to have become as the mountain of oath recognized the religious importance of Hermon in its work. So I'll let you guys read on about this, but this is fascinating. So we have equally distributed angles perfectly at 122 degrees apart connecting Hermon Mount Hermon which is on the 33 degree parallel and the main line of death that goes through the United States and when you pull that over it connects directly to Canada to the legislative building and then it equally divides out to Canada's own Mount Hermon same angle 122 degrees 122 degrees, 122 degrees, and perfectly bisects our United States pentagram of death that contains also 
all of the most major earthquakes in modern recordable history. Take care and be safe, you guys.